The thumbnail doesn't have much to do with anything. It's pretty much just my face when reading these comments. You know, in my last special video, I said I was worried about making content when I was new. Mainly because I was only bringing in a bad group of people. But then I said everything is okay now because that bad group of people is gone. You know, I should have knocked on wood. If you've read the comments in the last video, you'd probably notice that there were a few negative Nellies out there. Don't get me wrong, as usual, the coolest people on earth were incredibly kind and funny in their comments, but what sucks about it is that they too had to take shit for being funny. So you know what, why not turn some lemons into lemonade? Let's read through some of the comments of people who thought it was dead ass smart to get political on some random ass puppet themed channel on YouTube. Alright, starting off on a lighter offense, we got the comments from the problem dog. A lot of darker comments were taken down, so I think a few people came to their senses. But you know, a few lighter ones still linger here and there. Like this little thread. Ariel was originally white. Get over yourself. And she's bitter black now, shut the fuck up. Arielli was originally a mythological creature. Get over yourself. They want to get rid of white people, and we're letting it happen. Disney's the same company putting out the Proud Family. Like I said, not a bad one. And here's another as warm-up before we move on to the Jesse video. Starting off with something normal, someone says, People are so weird for bullying the actress over fiction. Okay, the character in the animated version is white. So? And now she's black, so deal with it. And the fact that they have the nerve to bring up the double standard argument is so ignorant. These kind of people clearly never dealt with racism in their entire life. I mean, it doesn't fit the original one and it's really weird, but I still don't support the bullying again. They want to get rid of white people and we're letting it happen. Disney's the same company putting out the Proud Family. Alright, I hope that gave you a bit of a small glimpse of what's to come. Honestly, I'm not even that proud of that video. Its quality was kinda shit, which is saying something because I still think my quality is really low budget. And I also, on top of that, didn't even know what kind of content I wanted to make at the time. But you know, it's a fun thing to look and laugh at now. I mean, after all, Disney is the one putting out the Proud Family. Alright, time for the fun one. Is Jesse Pinkman trans? Where I give reasons that he could travel through dimensions and turn into a car. Let's see how politically charged people can be from that concept alone. TRANS PEOPLE ARE ABOMINATIONS ON THIS EARTH! Alright, alright, good start, good start. What's the next one to say? I don't have to watch this. The answer is no. Dude, you're missing out. I don't know about anyone else, but I think I made some good points with I'm in love with my Jesse. So instead of hitting the pause button, typing what you had to say, and then leaving, you could have just watched it. Oh, this one's really cool, actually. I'm not transphobic. I just really love Star Wars. As a trans woman, I approve this message. Oh, that's pretty nice. So as a man... It gets worse, too. A biological man is a man. Sorry to break it to you, a bozo. You'll grow into an old man given enough time, no matter what your little internet friends want to believe. Care to join the suicide rate, maybe? Does that mean I call you dude? No, a trans woman. I don't know who taught you to read, but they did a bad job. Wait, I got a good voice for this response. Are you familiar with the certified white supremacist Candlewick from Skylander's Trap Team? He kind of sounds like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch if he had a drinking issue. <clears throat> so a man, you fucking idiot, turns out all his chromosomes are still Y chromosomes. And with an exception of his sperm cells, mutilation and promotion of delusion doesn't make it factual as much as you'd like it to be, stupid fucking liberal. And that is how you reactivate a bridge in a weird dreamland. Oh, so a man. Got it. You can't change your bone structure. And chromosome chain through surgery. Trans people are nothing but a mutilated body of the biological person they once were. I don't think you need to agree with transsexuality or whatever, but saying this to people is very rude and quite disrespectful to say the least. Unless you're being ironic, which if you are, you did a pretty bad job doing that. And this poor soul didn't realize it at the time, but that was all it took to open Pandora's box. <gasps> It has nothing to do with what I agree with because you are factually wrong. 
I know this day and age you don't like people coming up to you and telling you that the factual truth doesn't give a shit about how it offends you, but it doesn't. I am stating the fact that this man, regardless of how he mutilated his genitals or how much estrogen he ingests, is a man. It's not about opinions or what I agree with. You are wrong. And you are yet another person who thinks protecting someone's feelings or enabling genuine delusion is better than simply stating a biological fact that has never been in question of all of human history until now. Also, if I was being ironic, it would be the best fucking irony you've ever been in the presence of. But I'm not. Do you think he watches Ben Shapiro? It goes on a little more, others get involved, he yells, he screams, and then someone finishes the argument with, so based. This video went over the two minute mark, so I'll spare you of the repetition. I'm just surprised that so many people can be that passionate about what a puppet has to say over a shit post. Of course, for every transphobic comment, there's 10 great ones that made my day, so I won't stress about it too much. But I am sorry if you had to take shit for a video I made. That's really bad on my part, and you deserve way better than that. But to all the transphobes, I just got one thing to say. Disney is the one putting out the Proud Family. Actually, one more before I go, this one made me laugh. No! He was not! And this is the most ridiculous theory I think I've seen! Uses transphobic. Average Twitter user. It's always the same fucking guy, who are you? Wrong, and that's the problem with this. I don't believe because I have different moral slash values and beliefs that I'm transphobic and that's all anyone can say who supports it like yourself. I believe it's a mental health issue. Taking synthetic hormones and having radical surgeries does not make you the opposite sex. We are not assigned a gender, it's biology and changing words and terminology to suit an agenda does not change that. Ugh, lightheaded. I refuse to feed into someone's mental illness by addressing them by an endless number of pronouns they identify as. Gender dysmorphia, identity disorder, these are mental health issues. I am 50 years old. I don't go around telling everyone that they have to address me as a 25 year old. It's just not true. I wish no ill will towards people. They are free to do as they want, just as I am free to my opinion. You don't have to agree, but it does not make me transphobic. You're 50 years old. I mean, thanks for watching my content, but don't you got like better things to do? Here's a fun fact. My analytics tell me that there are more people in their 40s and 50s who watch my content than kids 17 and under. I guess it's fair since I mostly talk about Breaking Bad, but... Huh. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that's not a bit weird. Anyway, I hope you like the special edition of Neckbeard Monologues. Until then, see you later, alligator.